Happy New Year. I hope everybody's having a really wonderful 2011 to start. And I know it's been a little while since I recorded, so I wanted to share a really exciting discovery that I found. I actually found this cute little company during the Christmas season. Um, long story short, um, I had a friend that was given a sweater by her boyfriend, and I absolutely loved everything about it. I loved the design. Um, I loved the quality. I loved the color. But the thing that really caught me the most was the the uh, logo and so I'm gonna just show you um, the damage that I did because I luckily had an opportunity to get to go to their Boxing Day sale so I'm just gonna go ahead and share that with you right now. So a quick two seconds about the company. So the name of the company that I found is called the Joshua Pellets. Um, I'm sorry my accent is really not that good but I tried uh, to YouTube other people um, to see how to pronounce it and there's actually not that many reviews on it so I thought what a great way to introduce this cute little company. It originated in Montreal and naturally the name of the designer, his name is Joshua Pellets and the, the biggest thing, his little slogan is that Joshua Pellets is not just a name, it's a lifestyle. And so uh, the company provides, I'm just reading my little script here, it's more designed for urban style clothing. So the thing that I really noticed when I went to the store was lots of hoodies, lots of t-shirts, lots and lots of casual wear. But the design of it is what really made it stand out. Since I'm a retired, like, hip-hop kind of girl. I loved just really cool, urban, almost retro-looking kind of things. And when I walked into the store, it was just, I was a kid in a candy store. So I loved the color selection, the design. Just overall, I really, two thumbs for this company. I really, really approve. And the thing that really sucks is that most of their boutiques are actually all in Quebec. There's only one store within somewhat the GTA, like somewhat that is, you know, within, a, you can actually travel to it, and it's in, actually in Brampton, of all places, and in Bremelia Shopping Center, so luckily I was able to find out that there is one store in Brampton, and I was able to go there for Boxing Day, and everything was 50% off. So I'm just going to show everything that I purchased within that okay, day. Okay, so for the damage, I end up walking away with Five hoodies, two pairs of yoga pants, what else did I get? Two tank tops, three pairs of underwear, and a miscellaneous item. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So the very first thing that the store offered were door crusher sweaters. They were $14.99. You really can't go wrong. So the very first one I have here is all of a teal kind of green color. So Joshua Pratt's just like that, and that is the little logo that caught me, the Scottish Terrier. So it's your standard hoodie, and the back just looks like this. So same repeat as the front, and then this is the infamous logo that caught me. Tell me, that is so adorable. And this logo is actually fuzzy. So this is just your standard, like, pullover hoodie. So I'm just going to put that right there. And then I got another one. It's a simpler one, and it's in a navy blue. And it looks like this. Just simple JP. The back has a nicer design, in my opinion, but it looks like that. And then similar little fuzzy logo with the Scottish Terrier there. So cute. So those were the two door pressure sweaters that I was able to get. And then I got a really, really funky pullover sweater. I was really hesitant to actually walk out with this, but it was my friend that was really like, it looks so good, and it's so you, and you have to get it, and I was, I'm very easy to convince, so it looks like this, but the reason why it's so different, and it has these little button detailings on it, it, I don't know if you can see, but there you go, there's the actual dogs on the buttons. And on the sleeves, it actually has the detailing as well. And instead of the dog on the hood, it actually shows the name. This has almost like a cowbell kind of effect on me, so it's really, really baggy up on top and then more tailored um, to the waist. And then this is the back. So definitely this is more rock punk kind of 
doesn't worry about. I'm not 100% sure if I'm that huge of a fan of it, but I'm going to see if I can take pictures with all the things, um, all the items I'm showing you guys, so you can see what that looks like. So those were the three pullover hoodies. I have two actual zip-up hoodies here. So my first little one I got here, is a purple one, and it looks just like this. So it's got a large blue palette, and then it's got a velvet Joshua going right through it. And the back is a very, very similar says love. And the reason why I particularly love this one, I love the outline of this logo. I love that it's the outline of the dog. And the really cool thing is, I actually wore this hoodie to an audition for Page Cow's collaboration channel. And so the hunt actually outlines with that blue detailing, and it's actually fuzzy, as you can see. So this one's actually really, really warm, and I've already worn the sweater religiously. The next zip-up hoodie I have here, it's a gray one, and it looks like this. I love the old Angelica kind of haunting, and it's got the same detailing in the back, just like that, said love. And then the dog here is outlined with pink, with a touch of blue filled in. And then this hood is just simple, nothing too fancy, just it's kind of rimmed, straight cotton. So that's the fifth hoodie. <laughs> So as, if you can't tell, I'm a huge, huge hoodies girl. Um, I know girls are either into purses, shoes, or makeup. I'm pretty infamous for my hoodies. So those were the hoodies that I ended up walking away. Okay, so the next things that I really, really wanted to grab, it's kind of a signature thing to have for Joshua Perez, and that's their tank top. They're really into layering since they have so many sweaters and hoodies. And so I had to walk out with their tank top. So it's just very standard. It has the pink dog at the very, very bottom left-hand side, and it has the pink tag with the dog on it. It's your standard crew neck. It's very, very long, and that's just all there is to it. Very, very simple. Nothing too fancy about it. Got it in black, and got it in white. Nothing too fancy about this. It's just as straightforward and simple as you can get. Then the yoga pants that I got, there were a lot of pants to choose from. There was like drawstring, there were shorts, um, and I have everything. So I kind of wanted to pick the best value and the best pair of pants that would represent Joshua Perez. And so what I ended up getting were the yoga pants. And the reason why I like this is that it actually flaps over. So it extends upwards if you want the extra coverage or you can flap it down. And then at the very front, it just has cursive writing saying Joshua Perez. And the very back has the dog. And it bells out at the bottom, which means um, it goes straight down the leg and it comes out so that it has like a belling kind of effect, so it's very, very wide. The only complaint I have about this is that it's very long. I end up walking away with mediums for everything, and I'm honestly feeling unless you're six foot, everybody is going to have to get these altered. So I got it in black, and I also got it in a charcoal gray. I just liked how it looked on me. It just, it was very bum flattering, <laughs> I guess. And I like the feel of it. It's very silky. For the underwear. So I have a lot of underwear. I used to love shopping at Lazenza. And now that Victoria's Secret opened up, I've done so much damage. So I was a little weary, but I couldn't resist. The number one thing I really hate seeing girls is like when they bend over and they're wearing like a thong or a G-string, or you just see the butt crack, that's just not really that pleasant to see. So I love see wearing underwear where if you do accidentally bend over too much, you see a little detailing. So I love booty cut shorts. So that's what it looks like. And on the side, of course, has the dog. And it just rims Joshua Perez all the way around. So I got gray with yellow. Then I've got a bright turquoise teal and it's got like a lime green detailing and then I got white and 
purple. So, and this fit pretty standard. I walked away with smalls, and so that's not too bad. And then the last thing I ended up getting, um, I got it right at the cash register. I was looking for it everywhere. I was like, where is it? And it is their little keychain. It's so cute. It has five dogs, pink, yellow, green, orange, and blue, and then it has a pink dog tag, just St. Joshua Peretz. So that's all the damage I ended up walking away with that day, and it was hard. I actually was holding at a good time 12 different hoodies, I think five pairs of pants. It was pretty bad, especially knowing that everything's 50% off. And for me, Brampton is not that close, so the chances of me going back is really, really slim. So I knew whatever I walked away with that day, it's going to be stuck with me forever. And so with everything, it actually ended up totally to be $250, including tax. So for me, um, it was a bit much, but the thing is, I just, I love the logo, and I knew it was something I was not going to regret. And for me, that's actually not too bad. When you consider buying any other hoodies, whether it's uh, Triple Soul 5, Triple Soul 5, I think, <laughs> I don't even remember anymore, um, then there's French Connection, TNA, all those hoodies can range to 80 to to $100, and the most expensive hoodies, um, obviously, were the, the zip-ups with the, the ton of detailing, the original price, let me see if I can grab that it's normally 79 and then I got it half off, so it was $40. In my honest opinion, it's really, really not that bad. Love all my purchases. And so that's everything that I got. So the last pieces of information for anybody that is curious. Of course, I'm going to link their website down below in the description box. So for anybody that needs to know, it's 60% cotton and 40% polyester. But for the most part, it's pretty, pretty good quality. I've already had the purple hoodie dry cleaned and... The lady that does my dry cleaning tells me, like, the quality is actually not that bad. So that's really good to know that not only was it such a great deal and I love the design, the quality above all is actually not that bad. The number one thing that I really did not enjoy about shopping in that store is an extremely slim fit. The mediums were pretty tight on me. I'm an average of a 2 to a 6, depending on, on the store's. And the small was just, I felt like I was wearing, like, a corset or a bustier, whatever you would call it. I couldn't breathe. And so I moved up to the mediums, and it was still pretty fitting, but considering it's cotton, it's going to stretch. And then on top of it, the design for Joshua Perez is meant to be more A-line, a little bit more fitted. It's not meant to be really that baggy so that's the only thing I would watch out for when shopping with JP it's really really a slim fit I probably would have preferred the large but by the time I made it I got to the mall at about 12 30 like just passing lunchtime they had six large sweaters left in the store that's all they had left and so regardless I am happy I think I went with the right decision that I ended up going with the medium and that is my little discovery. And so I want to actually ask a question with you guys. With all the stuff that I purchased, was there a particular item that you guys really liked? Which one was your favorite hoodie? I'm really curious. But the biggest question of all I want to ask is, what is your intake about this company? Um, I'm not being paid or sponsored. It's just out of my sheer curiosity. Do you think that this adorable little dog is going to take off? Do you think this logo is going to become the latest trend? Because personally for me, I think it's going to blow up pretty, pretty big. It's starting off in Bremelia and I'm just waiting for the stores to start multiplying and next thing you know it, I think it's going to become the next TNA. So I just want to know, what do you guys think? Do you think the Scottish Terry is going to be the newest fad going on for 2011? Write me a little note and I'm going to write a tally and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye!